All right, Archons, it's time for another groundbreaking discovery here on Call of the Week. I'm Bravnar89. Welcome back. Let's see what we have today. It looks like we've got an evil twin. Come on. All right. Evil twin of Overtrap of Setsfall. Okay. Overtrap of Setsfall. Let's see what this evil twin has in store. We've got dinosaurs, we've got Sanctum, and we've got Shadows. I do hope to see some of those evil twin sea urchin just objectively better than the original. Evil twin Yurian, let's hope we don't see that objectively worse than the original. All right. Starting off with Aja the Inconspicuous. Well, Aja the Inconspicuous is not on the flank. It cannot be dealt damage. Interesting card. We'll see if we have anything that goes well with it there. Ooh, Mad Prophet Gizzleheart. All right. Four power, three armor. It's a leader priest. While Gizzleheart is in the center of your battle line, it gains action. Fully heal each non-mutant creature. Gain one for each creature healed in this way. So we first saw this in Mass Mutation, if I remember correctly. Um where, you know, there was a lot of mutants. Uh, there's a much lower mutant count in this set. So this may be a really strong card in this deck. If we've got a lot of non-mutant creatures uh, and some way to do mass damage, you know, Shadows has a lot of, like, mass pinging damage cards. Uh, there's um, Honor or Glory, I believe, is the Sanctum card that does three damage to everything on a flank or not on a flank. So there's some potential for some really big, um, yeah, really big Amber Burst out of Mad Prophet here. Ooh, this is a great card to have. Bring Low, got an Amber Pip on it. It brings a Capture Enhancement into the deck, and it says play, capture all but five of your opponent's Amber distributed among any number of friendly creatures. Such a good card. Um, so few ways to do mass uh, scaling amber control in the set. So very happy to see that. Oh my gosh. And you couldn't. What what more could you ask for than to have it together with a doorstep to heaven? What Got an amber pip on it. It's an action play. Each player with six or more loses all but five of it. I cannot emphasize enough the power of these two cards together. If you bring low... Capturing a bunch of your opponent's Amber. It stays on there for a while. Your opponent finally manages to get it all back, uh, destroying your creatures. And then you hit them with the doorstep and just delete it. Like, oh, so satisfying. So happy to see those two in the deck together. Here we go. Here's Honor or Glory. Uh, play, choose one. Deal three damage to each flank creature or deal three damage to each creature not on the flank. So if you've got a big board, your opponent's got a big board, you've got Gizzleheart in the middle of your battle line. You play honor or glory, damage everything not on a flank. Uh, that's gonna and then and then you can action and gain an amber for each creature that you heal. Like huge burst potential. Huge burst potential. That's so cool. Uh Radiant Truth. Ooh, very nice. Radiant Truth is an action play. Stun each enemy creature not on a flank. Such a good card. So good. Uh just like shut down your opponent's board. Um really underrated. I think. Uh, Badge Magus has got a capture pip on it. It's four power. Well, this one has a capture pip on it. It's four power. Deploy, fight, and ready with each of Badge Magus's neighbors one at a time. Bulwark, four power, one armor, assault two. Each of Bulwark's neighbors gains assault two. Oh, wow. Cleansing wave. Heal one damage from each creature. Gain one for each creature healed in this way. So that also pairs really nicely with Honor or Glory. Um, that's even easier to use than Mad Profit, right? Uh, so really incredible burst potential out of Sanctum so far here. Uh, General Salvador, four power, two armor, brings two capture enhancements into the deck. Grand Melee, destroy each creature that does not share a house with at least one of its neighbors. I find this card to do nothing so often. <laughs> like <laughs> you, th you think like, oh, this will. This will get some work done, but it, it ends up just doing nothing, like, almost all the time. Because when you think about it, like, when you play creatures, you usually just, like, play them. Unless you're, like, trying to avoid or trigger a specific effect that cares about uh, where creatures are positioned. You usually don't think too much about, you know, like, they'll usually have at least one neighbor of the same house. So, 
Oops. Please excuse my phone uh, setting off an alarm there. It's time to make a video <laughs> phone. It's not time to tell me that we need to eat lunch. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to shifting battle line. Uh, it's got an amber pip on it. Move a friendly creature anywhere in your battle line. That creature captures one. Okay. Super good with the Mad Prophet, right? If I've got a big old battle line already and I play down my Mad Prophet, uh, but it's all the way on the flank, I want to trigger it. Well, Shifting Battle Line puts it into the middle. Boom. I can use it. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, no. No Evil Twins in Sanctum. That's kind of fine because the Sanctum Evil Twins are... Don't let Sanctum hear me say that. But uh, they tend to not be pretty good. I am really happy with the Sanctum House. This is awesome. This is so cool. You've got two cards that do scale and amber control. Really good. Really good together. You've got Honor of Glory, Mad Prophet, and Cleansing Wave. So two cards that can get you massive burst off of your Honor of Glory. Uh... Grand Melee, whatever. Shifting Battle Line helps you with the Mad Prophet. And then a couple of creatures that are, you know, fine. They're, they're, uh, Badge Magus is, is pretty good. Bulwark goes nicely with Badge Magus. You know, you, you get that, uh, assault. So you can take care of a few annoying threats, elusive creatures without, um, without damaging your creatures. And, uh, you know, Zalvador is fine. Whatever. Bring some amber control in. Uh, it's a four power, two armor body, so you can't argue with that. Nice. Sanctum House looking pretty strong. Let's see what we've got in Dinosaurs. Starting off with an evil twin. Five power evil twin sensor Philo. Play, deal five damage to a creature with amber on it. Okay. We've got some capturing. So it could be a bit of a difficulty for us. But uh, maybe we've got some tools in Sanct er, in uh, Dinos to move Amber from our side onto our opponent's side. So uh, we'll be able to, uh, yeah, make that make that value give that make that work in our favor. We'll see. Uh, Lapiosaurus Evil Twin is a three power skirmisher with the fight ability Exalt the creature Lapiosaurus fights. Well, there you go. Um, you know, if you've got a big creature on your opponent's side, you fight into it, exalt it. Sensor Philo uh, takes it out. Uh, Evil Twin Magister Vita. Five power play slash fight. You may exalt a friendly non sarian creature. If you do, fight with it. Okay. So you could use that on Badge Magus. And then Badge Magus could uh, make its neighbors fight. So a good amount of uh, house interplay there. That's pretty cool. Ah, nice. Uh, Sky Skyla? Skila? I don't know. Seven power. Each enemy creature gains reap, deal four damage to this creature. That's nice. Just slows your opponent down. They basically have to address it, and it's seven power, so it's hard for them to do that. Uh, of course, we always see Charibidus, Charibidus um, together with Skyla. Uh, this is a seven power creature. Each enemy creature gains before fight, lose one. Again, just something they have to deal with, and it's annoying. Um, yeah, there's no way around it. They just have to deal with this big seven power body. Uh, ooh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Primus Unglus, five power, one armor. Each friendly creature gets plus two power for each amber on Primus Unglus. Reap, exalt Primus Unglus. That is awesome. Um, just think about like making your creatures huge and then honor or glory and uh, none of your creatures die, and then you can do the, the cleansing wave, and you can do the mad prophet. Yeah, that's that's super cool. Make your creatures huge, and then fight with badge magus, and uh, your stuff just doesn't die. Um, yeah, make Lapiosaurus a gigantic skirmisher. Magister Vita gets extra like viability th through Unguis, giving it more and more power. Really cool. Happy with this deck so far. Paraguardian. Oh, wow. Uh, six power, one armor reap. You may exalt Paraguardian if you do ward each of its neighbors. Great. 
keep that Unguis around for longer. Make your opponent really struggle to get rid of it. Uh, Senator Quincan, five power after a creature reaps, exalt it. Well, this will help put Amber on the uh, enemy side of the board, make it really difficult. Lots of reap punishment out of this dinos. That's awesome. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, wipe clear. Got a Amber Pip on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's an action. Play, deal one damage to each creature, destroy each upgrade. Again, with the Mad Prophet and the Cleansing Wave in this deck, that's going to really help. Like, this is the best wipe clear I've seen in any deck. Because usually it's kind of just a throwaway, like you get an Amber Pip. But that could help you uh, make for a big burst. Faust the Great. Oh my gosh. Four power. Your opponent's keys cost plus one for each friendly creature with Amber on it. Play, you may exalt a friendly creature. Uh, you could exalt Unguis with this, right? You play it, exalt Unguis. And then everything's got more power. This deck is looking real spicy. Ooh, <laughs> Medicus Lacus. Five power. While the tide is high, you may spend Amber on friendly creatures as if it were in your pool. Again, with the Quintana. Um, with the Quintana and Unguis making your creatures so big, you're okay to put your Amber onto your creatures. And then just with the high tide, threaten a, a, a key, make your opponent like force your opponent to deal with that to address it that's so cool all right reach advantage it's got an amber pip on it play if the tide is high a friendly creature captures three otherwise raise the tide um again you can just capture three <laughs> right onto unguis and then everything gets plus six power wow this deck is looking real cool i'm really happy with this so far um i mean what can i even say like this is this is monstrous. This is awesome. I'm very excited. All right. Uh, what do we got in Shadows? Freebooter Fay. This one coming with a capture icon. Of course, it's the evil twin Freebooter Fay. Uh, play, raise the tide. Before fight, if the tide is high, steal one. Awesome. Can't can't argue with that. Um, yeah. The great. Oh, and you can use it together with Badge Megas. Right? So you can use it on your off turn. Love it. Hard Simpson Evil Twin. Four power reap. If the tide is high, a damaged creature captures one from its own side. Um, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. A damaged creature captures one from its own side. So you just have to make sure that uh, you don't have anything that's damaged and your opponent does. Or no one has anything that's damaged. Would be fine. Um, but, you know, hopefully your opponent has something damaged and you can do a slow steal. Hobnobbler, evil twin, three power, Omni, if your opponent has exactly one, steal it. Okay. I like that it's Omni, right? So you can use it any turn. So maybe you can uh, find a chance to to use it on, uh, like, after you capture three amber with on your dino turn or something. One-eyed Willa, evil twin, elusive, it's two power, elusive and skirmish fight. If the tide is high, your opponent loses two. Not as good as the original, but... Not too bad. Ooh, nice. Booby trap. Uh, play. Deal four damage to a creature that is not on a flank with two damage splash. That'll help you out with your hard Simpson. Get some damage out there, and then you can uh, load that creature up with Amber. Ooh, very nice. Bren the Fanatic. Three power. Skirmisher. Play. Your opponent gains one Amber. Destroyed. Steal three. Of course, <laughs> this does not go super well with the Unguis, but eh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Uh, safe or sorry, choose one, archive any number of friendly creatures from play, or choose a creature, deal one damage to it for each amber your opponent has. You can hit Brend with that. Uh, you can, you can probably knock Brend out with that. Um, even if Unguis is giving some bonus power, you might, you might be able to get enough on there. Uh, Cement Shoes, there you go, that can hit Brand 2, deal 2 damage to a creature, uh, it's got an Amber Pit, play, deal 2 damage to a creature, if this damage destroys that creature, raise the tide, nice, Francis the Economist, 3 power skirmisher, fight, each player gains 1, a second Francis, a third Francis, okay, uh, you know, if they're really big with Unguist, you could just be, like, taking out your opponent's board, and then... You know, uh, you've got some tools in Shadows. You've got your Brand. You've got your Willa to to um, eliminate some of that Amber. 
you've got your hobnobbler, you've got your fey. So like there are ways to uh, deal with the amber that you're putting out there. Mug also going to be able to help you out with Brend. Uh, of course, Mug has got the Amber Pip, and you play it, you move an Amber from a creature to your pool, and you deal two damage to that creature. Um, okay, wow, this is really cool. Uh, one of these Francis has a capture on it, so uh, that'll go nicely with the Mug. Yeah, this deck is is looking pretty cool. I was hoping for some Sea Urchins in here, like three Sea Urchins uh, Evil Twin instead of three Francis the Economist would have been great, but... Um, I cannot complain about this deck. This deck looks super fun, super cool. Um, let's start off with... I don't even know what to start with because there's there's so much going in this deck. But let's start with uh, Amber Pips. We'll just start there because why not? One, two, three, four, five. I feel like it's going to be low, but that's okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so nine Amber Pips is not a lot. You're going to need to reap a lot, but don't worry. You've got a bunch of creatures that will be able to stick around. Uh, I think for a while, you know, if you can get Unguis going and keep him on the board, um, it's going to be so hard for your opponent to to handle your board. Um, also, there's a number of tricks in here to, to get more, to get big bursts of Amber. Uh, you know, we've got the... Cleansing Wave and Mad Prophet uh, going, and um, yeah, I mean, the the Lacus with, uh, with Quintana and other ways to get Amber onto our board, um, and then the, the amount of, there's a decent amount of stealing in here as well, so I'm not too worried about Amber generation, despite the low pip count. Let's look at the creature count, one, two, three... Four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Quite a high creature count for the set. Um, yeah, just gonna be able to hang out on the board and reap and get lots of stuff done, do lots of fighting, lots of big power creatures. And that Ungus just going to make everything that much harder to deal with. This is, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, let's look at some Amber Control here. We've got... Brand. One-Eyed Willa, two. Hobnumbler, three. Hard Simpson, four. Freebird of Fae, five. Reach Advantage, six. Francis, seven. And then, of course, we've got eight and nine out of our uh, Bring Low and Doorstep to Heaven. So, uh, you know, you're going to be able to do some capturing, just keep your opponent's Amber count low with some stealing. And then once they're able to burst up and get a big amount of Amber, you can just wipe it out with uh, the uh, Doorstep to Heaven. You're going to want to make sure to use that at the at the opportune moment when it is when it is right. But... I think I think you should be able to to get that done. Um, and now, if we look at board control, we've got mug one, three Francis with with skirmish and like uh, fighting. That's gonna that's gonna get some work done. But we'll count cement shoes for two. Say for sorry three. Booby trap four. Wipe clear. Uh, fine. I don't know. Wipe clear seems like. Not worth counting. Uh, five out of Philo. Oh, I missed this when I was... Oh, no. Yeah, it captures one. I missed this when I was doing Amber. It's fine. Uh, Grand Melee, six. Badge Magus is almost worth counting, two. Honor or Glory, seven. Yeah. Um, you know, normally I would be a little bit concerned. There's pips their spot removal stuff um but with the amount of with like the giant creatures you could have with unguis and just like the size of the creatures is already big uh you can do a lot of fighting here and like a number of skirmishers too that can be very effective for you um i'm not 
yeah, I'm not too worried about creature control. I mean, you're going to need to fight to keep that, to remove specific threats. But I think um, with Unguis, you can really, like, manipulate the board to your advantage. Yeah, I think this is this is going to be fine. Um, yeah, this looks like a very, very fun deck. And you've got Radiant Truth. I didn't even count that. Um, yeah, Radiant Truth to just shut down your opponent's board there. Awesome. Uh, so I think what you do with this deck is you try to play into the big plays, right? You try to get that Amber Burst, um, and you try to get Unguist set up with just like a big old board going on. Um, pick away at their Amber. Don't let them forge, uh, with, you know, your shadows and stuff and just try to set up your big board so that you can just make some like massive plays, um, Quintana, you know, if they've got a lot of uh, board clears and removal and stuff, you're going to need to be very careful about it, but that will slow them down from reaping too. So, you know, just got to be be careful with it. But, you know, you've also got doorstep. So, like, if you load up all your creatures with Amber and then they wipe the board, if you have doorstep ready to go, like, that's fine. Just delete all that Amber. That's okay. Um, yeah. No, this looks like a very fun, very powerful deck. I like the the combos uh, in Sanctum. I think um, that key cost control out of Faust could be really huge. The um, Unguis can be just <laughs> really difficult to deal with, especially with Power Guardian. Um, yeah, this looks like it's going to be a very fun deck. So I'm very excited to try this one out. Uh, this has been, uh, yet another edition of Groundbreaking Discovery here on Call of the Week. I'm Brobner89. I'll catch you next time.